How's it going, everybody? And welcome back to another episode of Pro Tea Time with the Bearded Wonder. April Challenge is still going on. Emotional reps. After every workout, every day, pick a body part, pick a muscle group that you want to put more focus on, pick an exercise that you want to do, and do that exercise. Now, change subjects real quick. Something that's going to help you with your 2022 fitness goals, as well as with the monthly challenges, everything. And that is nutrition. Nutrition plays such a big role on your fitness that I wanted to talk about it a little bit more and just kind of be a reminder, hey, don't slack on the nutrition just because you're focusing on the workouts. Because you can't, you can't outwork a bad nutrition. That's a big thing is, is you can't outwork it. So focusing on getting your macros, hitting your calorie count, if that's what you're focusing on, doing whatever you need to do to be successful on your nutrition side, you got to keep doing it. You can't not do it. So that's a big thing is making sure that you look at, okay, if I want to be in a calorie, if I want to lose weight, I need to be in a calorie deficit. If I want to gain weight, I need to be in a calorie surplus. That's the basics of all of it is that you need to focus on those two things. If you're trying to lose weight, calorie deficit. If you're trying to gain weight, calorie surplus. Second thing is, is worry about the macros. But those can come. That's the number one thing I would say. If you're just starting out, if you're, again, if you've been doing this for 10 years, if you're just starting out, whatever the case may be, put that emphasis on those two things. Do it for a couple weeks. Do it for two weeks. Do it for three weeks. And to see really how many calories you're actually intaking on a daily basis as well as a weekly basis. So to make sure that you're in that calorie deficit and to make sure that you're, or to make sure you're in that calorie surplus whatever the case may be, put that emphasis back on the nutrition. If you feel like you've been slacking on the nutrition, put that focus back into it. Look at the numbers. Look at what you're doing. Count the calories. I'm not a big fan of counting calories myself, and it's just because it's very time-consuming. And with a lot of clients that I've worked with over the years, it, it becomes very tedious to the point where they look at it as, a chore and it just drains them. So downside to it. And that's a bad thing. And it, we don't want it to be draining. We want it to be, we want you to feel like, oh man, this is, this feels great. This feels wonderful. I feel good about my nutrition. So do that though. Focus on, see how much you're actually eating. Don't put an emphasis on, oh, I need to eat less. I need to focus on, I can't eat all of this. I can only eat once a day. Do not do that because then you end up starving yourself and not getting enough food majority of the time. First thing I say is, is actually see how much you're eating on a daily basis. See how much you eat for a week on a daily basis and then go from there and actually see how much you should be eating. Because if you're dipping below a thousand, you're not helping yourself. If you're going above 2,000 and you're trying to lose weight, you're not helping. So that's why you got to look. You got to look and actually calculate it. Jump on MyFitnessPal. Jump on those, those apps where they count the calories. See how, much calorie, how many calories on a daily basis you're actually getting in on a weekly basis. Not only that, it allows you to check and see how you're doing on your macros too, your carbs, your fats, and your protein, especially the protein. So I that's my suggestion back to you guys. Take a week, take two weeks, take three weeks, take a month, whatever the case may be. Actually see what your, your nutrition's like. If you're slacking, see what your nutrition is like. Track it some and then make the decision how much to eat. Obligatory Twitch and Twitter promos. Twitter is at BeardWonderFit right here on the screen. As well, Twitch, twitch.tv slash BeardWonderFitness. Stream a lot. 
I've been streaming golf a lot lately. So, uh, come say hey. Let's recap. Don't forget about the April Challenge, first of all. Emotional reps. Let's get those emotional reps in. Get them. But let's put an emphasis back on nutrition. What do you? What kind of nutrition are you looking at? What kind of tr- nutrition are should you be actually looking at for your goals? That's the number one thing to look at with that. So, I'll see you guys in the next video.